On this episode of China Uncensored, abandon your baby, ye who enter here. Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your baby's daddy, Chris Chapel. By now, we've probably all heard something about Baby 59. That's the baby that was discovered on Saturday in a toilet sewage pipe, apparently abandoned by its parents. Later, it turned out the person who first raised the alarm was the mother, a 22-year-old woman who says she gave birth to the boy on a toilet and accidentally dropped it down the drain. Could happen. Fortunately, the baby was rescued and is doing quite well and has either been released into the custody of the mother, father, or maternal grandparents. Different sources are saying different things. But the thing I feel that's getting lost in all the media coverage is how China's one-child policy basically forced this woman into a scenario where she may have felt abandoning the baby was the best choice, as awful as that is. Now, the details of how China's one-child policy is implemented changes from place to place. In general, sorting through Chinese law can be a bit tricky, so please let me know if you've heard anything different. But here are some of the more extreme rules of the one-child policy. So this woman is unmarried. When she discovered she was pregnant, the father didn't want to have anything to do with it. Now, it's illegal for an unmarried woman to have a baby in China. If you do, you have to pay a fine, so your options are to abort the baby, give the baby up for adoption, or pay the fine, which this woman couldn't afford to do. Since it's a one-child policy, a lot of abortions happen in China. 13 million a year, or about 1,500 an hour, according to government researchers, who tend to lowball these kinds of numbers. But abortion costs money, and this mother didn't have it. Okay, so adoption. Now, this is where it varies a lot from place to place, but usually if you adopt, you forfeit your right to have your own children. Not that appealing, huh? Now, there are other places where you forfeit your right to have children only if you adopt a child illegally, meaning not going through the necessary paperwork. But I imagine going through that paperwork in this case would mean the mother would have to have disclosed she had an illegal birth, and then you're right back where you started. So what if she just had the baby illegally? Well, then legally, the child doesn't exist. Under China's household registration system, or hukou, the kid can't be registered as a resident in a town or city, which means the child will be denied schooling and health care. So the mother would have to pay for all that, which again, as we've mentioned, she doesn't have the money. Now, add to this the social stigma of being a single mother, which is far less acceptable in China than the West, plus the fact there's no national sexual education system in schools, which could be why fewer than 10% of sexually active couples use condoms, and now you can see how the game might be fixed to create more of these kinds of tragedies. So what do you think about this sad state of affairs? There's a comment box below, just waiting. And if you like this episode, please share it with your friends. That's the best way to get the word out there. Thanks again for watching China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.